Igor, good morning. Morning, Lisa. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. You are welcome all the time. Thank you, Igor. Yeah. So today we are talking with Igor Animisov. Igor York now. Oh, okay. How do you spell that? Uh, York, like New York. Like New York. Yes. Okay. So Igor York. We are talking with Igor York this morning. And um, we are highlighting him because he is a former refugee who is now a U.S. citizen and has been for several years, he and his wife, Arena. Yeah. And Igor has opened this beautiful coffee shop called Cedar Coffee. So I just want to ask you a few questions. So uh, what year did you come to the United States? When? Yes. It was uh, September 2015. 2015. Oh, yes. wow. So, seven, eight years now. Yeah. Wow. Or actually nine years now. Because nine and five is, yeah. Almost. Nine years. Wow. Almost a decade here. <laughs> yes. That's incredible. Time does fly, yeah. Yes, time does fly. So, um, tell us what country that you came from. Mm-hmm. I'm from amazing and beautiful, nice country, Ukraine. Ukraine, and yeah. it is a beautiful <laughs> yeah. country indeed. And can you tell us why you left Ukraine to come to the United States? I had no, um, I didn't want to come to America, but uh, for me, uh, 2014 started war. And uh, me and my wife, my kids have to leave Ukraine and we started to looking for where we have to <laughs> get away. And we found America because big family, my family is here from 2000. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. And because I'm here. Right. I think, Igor, that a lot of people in the United States have sort of forgotten that there was a war back then too. Yeah. That we, back in 2014, we had a lot of refugees come to the United States from Ukraine at that time. And then there was a time of peace. And then of course now we have the most recent war. Um, so tell us a little bit about what did you do in Ukraine? What was your type of work did you do in Ukraine? Uh, I did business. I had a coffee business in Ukraine. Okay. Was it like this or what kind of coffee business was it? Uh, it was more smaller business, easy business, but I love coffee and I start coffee business here. That's wonderful. And you know what? We are so glad that you did because Cedar Coffee is my favorite coffee shop in Spokane That's and your it. chai is, I think, the best chai in the whole world. So it's Thank pretty, you. it's pretty amazing. Thank yeah. you. So if there's anything that you could say to people who are just now arriving or have just recently arrived from the Ukraine or refugees overall, what would you want to tell them? I want to tell for refugee next. First, America, as for me, is the best country Ukraine best, but American second one. Yes. <laughs> and America um, country where can you do a lot of business. It's easy for start to business if you have money. If you have no money, World Relief help me to open this business. They just follow me what should I do. And if you want to do business and do business in your heart, it's possible. It's, you just need to figure out what people where you live in uh, like what is uh, interesting for them and you can provide this business. It's it's really it's really business really easy It's not difficult and I want to say for a refugee from Ukraine uh, I started this business when I was 41 year old and uh, And I didn't know English. I just know hello. How are you? Uh, I love you and nothing more. Without English, I started this business. 
just uh, if you have desire you can start it it's for start it's difficult but actually it's easy so if you don't know english it's not problem you will take english if you want it thank you thank you igor well that is very reassuring for our new refugees who are coming here and want to start a business pardon it's reassuring okay. it's comforting and encouraging yeah. yes yeah. Uh, it's important because a lot of people problem is english it's not it's not really yes, a problem. if your heart is mm -hmm. kind and kind go to the kind yes yes exactly <laughs> yeah. kind go to the kind that's wonderful thank you so much igor thank you for you lady you're helping oh absolutely uh, without world relief i uh, look like a bad man yeah yes you, you really uh, it's a camera or no camera more you really help me and i am thank you mm -hmm. for world relief snap and america yes. it's true that is wonderful. i love america <laughs> yeah. i love america too and you know what we love you we love ukraine yeah and we're so thankful i'm so thankful that god brought me to world relief mm -hmm. um so i can meet wonderful people like you and help people like you who have a desire to make spokane their home and make spokane a more welcoming place for refugees yeah. and immigrants. Uh, uh, Spokane, the state of Washington, mm -hmm. is a, as for me, is the best mm -hmm. place for refugees. Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, Igor, thank you Welcome. for sitting with me today. Thank you so much for, for opening this amazing coffee shop and just blessing Spokane with your presence. We are truly grateful that you're here and part of us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Blessings.